let's start from the main tip the tip number zero if you decided to skate with the traffic don't do it really it's extremely dangerous hello youtubers you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it my name is nix v and i've been hit by a car once the irony of the situation is that i've been skating on the sidewalk when the car hit me but anyway, I don't recommend you to skate with the traffic. If you have at least a small chance to skate on the sidewalk, on the bike lane, or through some backyards, use it. Skating on the road with cars, buses, and trucks is really dangerous. And that's not that usual inline skating, oh, I will scratch my knee danger. It's a real danger. Just some points to convince you. No matter how fast you are, cars are always faster. You can be more agile than a car, but there is always the second car, the third one, or the fourth one. And eventually there will be a car that you will not notice. Also, skater is almost always the most unexpected person on the road for drivers. Yeah, they are waiting for a pedestrian, for a bicyclist, or even someone on a scooter or monowheel. But the guy with the wheels on his shoes? Totally unexpected. Even in my city, where in summer every third citizen turns into the rolling hero, nobody waits for them on the road. I more often see horses and coaches on the automobile streets than inline skaters. But yeah, I understand that if you decided to try traffic skating, I can't hold you. So now let's move to the tips on how to do it and minimize the risks. So, tip number one. At first, check your local laws. In some countries, skating on the motor roads is strictly prohibited, and you can have some problems with the police. It sounds cool if you are 13 years old, but you don't really need that. Tip number two. Use all the possible protection, especially the helmet. It's obvious, but I will always repeat that. It could save your life. Tip number three. Use bright, colorful clothing. If you skate at night, use some reflective gloves. You are unexpected on the road and everyone should see you. The next tip. Be as predictable as you can. Use your hands to show where you are turning or that you are stopping. Usually it's good to raise the hands up and straighten your body. Communicate with the drivers. If you see that someone is giving you the road, try to find the eye contact with him to confirm that. React to the honks, but without the preliminary aggression. Sometimes they just want to warn you about the danger. Also, for traffic skating, that will be very good if you have some experience in driving. You will understand the drivers and the traffic situation much better. Tip number five. Always be ready to stop or get away from the road. Must at least one emergency stop technique to the perfection and use it. I'm using power stops usually. Magic slides are also very good for streets. And always scan the surroundings for some place, a sidewalk or a bike lane, where you can move in the case of emergency. For example, if some crazy driver is going right at you and is not going to slow down. Tip number six, be aware of the pedestrians. On the crossroads, when all the cars have stopped, the Russian crowd could be even more dangerous than the trucks and cars. Tip number seven, this tip is a little bit of a paradox for a city skater, but don't stay low. Of course, not always, but in the places with some blind spots where the parked cars are hiding you from the cars on the other side of the crossroad or going out from some exits. It's much better to straighten your body, leaving knees only a little bent and show that you are here. You can raise your hands and so on. Leave the technique and speed to straight empty roads. Tip number eight. Don't show off. Traffic is not the place for your backwards, lines and wheelings. You are here to move from one point to another, safe and healthy, and not to get viral on TikTok. Tip number 9. Give yourself a rest. 
Skating in the flow of honking and drawing cars that are trying to kill you all the time is always very exhausting and nervous. You can't keep the full concentration for a long period of time. Move to some safer place where you can relax and rest for some time. On the sidewalk or at least on some one side road with a small traffic on it. And that's all the tips for today. I hope that they will help you and will keep you safe on the roads. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed and hit that grey bell. You can also support me using that super thanks feature of YouTube. And share that video with all your skating friends. I will be back with new tutorials, new tips, new music videos and flows. See you next time. Bye.